Hello YouTube, this is Mickey Parry. Oh guys, welcome to Mickey Parry Stake Solution. This is Mickey Parry, your boy, and today we're going to PHP MySQL. Okay, guys, just follow me. Let's get our hands dirty. Now, we have made some things before now, okay, to save us time. So, what's going to be our agenda? In this video, we're going to be learning how to connect PHP MySQL, okay, together. We're going to be performing some queries on PH on the MySQL database using PHP, okay? So, PHP is a server scripting language, and um, I think you will enjoy using PHP. For some of us that started using PHP, or oh, just follow up with the tutorial, comment down, so we all learn one thing or the other. So today we're going to be creating a database and we're going to call it test3, okay? I'm going to also be creating a table in the database called students. And uh, just to give you a glimpse, we have these are the field names we're going to be putting for you, at least for a student table or student database. We need first name, email, street, city. And all this you see here is just the type of column. What information do you are you going to allow to get into this field name? So when somebody comes to your website and is typing his first name, you expect them to be able to mix up characters and letter. No, nobody can, you know, stop them from. But when you want to restrict some information from entering a field, you are going to specify the type of, um, you know, field that that. So we have different types we have vata we have car char we have medium int we have int we have date we have a num for for drop downs we have timestamps and we have the rest okay so we're going to be going going straight to the point so guys follow me and let's get our hands dirty so first thing first you need to have a server and i have my server here which i call zamp okay so for if you want to know how to install zamp just send me a message on my channel. I'm going to do a video for you. I promise you, nothing will stop me from doing that. So all I just need is just you to make a request and I'm going to do that. So as you can see, my Apache is on, my, my SQL is on. For some of you that don't know, my SQL is the database and Apache is the, like the server you know that will do the processing and we have php as the script or language that will do the processing for us okay so while it's on don't forget i'm also working on port 80 i've configured my server to run on port 80. okay so going straight let's go there now i've done many things just to make this video short now for those of us that don't know in our apache server coming down to the server because when you install apache or when you install exam you install it in your local drive drive c and i have the folder or the directory zamp and i have my hd docs so this hd docs is the public folder that leads to the outside world so even on a live server, when you go to www.whateverwebsite.com, there is a public folder that the web content is placed in. And that is the only place that you can fetch while you are routing on the internet. But anything you keep outside this folder would not be accessible on the internet. Are you with me now? Now, all these folder are folders that I've created. So it's just like a a step folder to 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 identify the application so let's say i'm working on two applications i'm working on mobile app i'm working on so all i need to do is to call the fold one of the folder uh, let's say mobile app. okay just for just just okay but don't forget this is not good you don't name things like this it's going to cause problem okay so the best thing you need to do when you are naming is to put an underscore or you better make it one word. Are you with me now? So if I want to put maybe mobile app, I need to put mobile underscore, the shift and your underscore, then with this, I can go down to my local host, 
local host my port and the folder name okay exactly the way it is and you get to the parent directory of that you know folder okay so that's just to show you now but what we're going to be doing is we have created the folder already and i called test three okay you can call it anything but just for you to follow me on this video guys just use test three so i've created a folder test three and let's access it and see if it's accessible are you with me now if you put a folder that is not there let's say test four you're going to get object not found so make sure you spell it correctly and guys you are good to go okay local local host test three okay you notice there's nothing in yet okay guys so with this now we can start building our application inside this test three folder guys so please i'm going to end this video and we'll move down to the next phase we are not done with this yet we need to connect to the database and we need to test our connection but what we've been able to do in this first introduction is to be able to is to tell you what we're going to do or achieve in you know like our objective and to tell you how we're going to structure so you can see i've created a test theory in my root directory in my zamp folder my HD docs, and also i've been i've started my uh, zamp to make sure my sql and others are turned on so guys the next video we're gonna go straight into creating this database and the table and the fields in the table okay guys all right guys please don't forget to subscribe my channel like it and get more more interesting videos from make a paris tech solution all right guys see you in the next video